Let's go, let's go, let's go, and welcome to the Art of Music Tech Podcast. I'm your host, Fela, and over to my left is my co-host, Dennis. What's up, guys? <laughs> All right, thank you for tuning in, uh, downloading or watching us on YouTube. Please subscribe on, on all platforms. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> show us some love that way. Uh, today, uh, we're going to go into a little Q&A. Um, I've gotten questions in my DMs on various DMs, like mm -hmm. LinkedIn, uh, uh, Facebook, and IG and stuff like that. I'm just going to start answering it on, you know, online, just you know, letting more people learn uh, from my answers instead of just doing a private DM, just putting yep. it out there. Um, our first question, uh, this comes from uh, Kenny. He asked me... Um, he he told me before that he's been doing. He wants to get more into scoring and doing freelancing, uh, post production for video, uh, and he really loves that and he wants to stay in that realm. So his question was: My struggle right now is finding a job in the field. I love working on post production on a regular basis. I'm also looking to grow my clientele for my company. Any advice can go a long way. Um, is, is he doing audio post production or video post production? Audio. Audio post production yeah. for video. Yep. That's his main. Yeah, that's what he wants to do. Okay. Um, but he's also like prepping people's uh, tracks for mastering as well. He mentions. Um, oh, so he's an audio engineer. He, he mixes music too. Yep. Yep, he music, mixes music as well, uh, okay. and he wants to stay in that and compose for, uh, you know, uh, basically film score, um, video productions with his own thing. Um, he also went to Full Sail, so shout out to that. Okay, uh, <laughs> let's go Full Sail. Okay, so what? Uh, so where do we start? Does he do uh, any uh, mixing for music or video right now? Yes, yes. Okay. He actually had some um, some samples on his on his LinkedIn. Uh, checked okay. it out. Okay. So, what was the samples like? Sound like? Oh, it would. Uh, they were decent. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, All right. It, it, uh, it's you know um, just growing it. I think was his. How to grow? How to, so he's just trying to get clients. And yeah, get paid. basically. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and I, I answered him in in the written form on this one as well. And my thing was uh, getting with other people like a, another like video producer or a small production company and uh working with them and just building um does he do any freelance work yeah yeah that's what he's doing right now he's freelancing okay i mean yeah freelance work i mean it may be different uh due to uh, uh covid right now but uh freelance work always helps i mean working for a thousand different companies and you know, <laughs> yeah yeah you know, do it for five dollars an hour. I'm pretty much all about the quantity, <laughs> and yeah. with quantity, you get quality because you do it so many times, and you just get better with each one. It you know, it, or, it's I about mean, the quantity for me. Some way, somehow, I think you should come up with your own gigs, create your own gig, yeah. and and mix, and uh, you know, do post production for for it. Yeah. <laughs> you can just wait for uh, anybody, you know, call you and give you a gig and pay you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I also suggested to uh, start sc scoring classic scenes, <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. and adding your own flair to it um, and posting and just getting it out there as much as you can. I'm trying to mm -hmm. think if they if that would get taken down. But once you – but it doesn't matter with the audio. If you've switched out the audio, you could still have the scene up. Yeah, I mean, like you're pretty much score. suggesting getting any type of content and putting your own music. Yeah, right. basically that. Okay. That's you know, the more you can put out there, the better. And uh, how about you find uh, e-commerce brands? Uh, they all need music. Oh, I hadn't thought about that. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. It's Finding really all and... is so it's it's thousands and thousands of e-commerce brands that that need commercials done and. Stuff like that, or maybe a jingle you could write. So mm -hmm. it's the same thing. Yeah, <laughs> just so, like it's shorter. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, okay, exactly. So you know, growing off of that, and the more you do it, the better you get. The more 
eyes see it and you just never know because you only need one set of eyes that'll change your life. Mm-hmm. Literally. Lead so, you to a better gig and better pay. Yes. So I think that that's pretty much the advice, right? Or do you uh, want to add anything else? <laughs> I mean, yeah, creating your own gigs is much better than waiting for someone else because uh, at the end of the day, you create it so you get to keep all the profit. I mean, if it becomes profitable, and it should, and he's talking about uh, his own company, so I guess he's a uh, legit business too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a must for him now. It's no yeah. way. He's doing his thing, he, and he's, he lives here in Jersey. Too. Oh, he lives in so, Jersey. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All so, right. Uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll okay, what's his name again? Uh, this is Kenny. Kenny. Okay, Kenny, we're looking forward to <laughs> meeting you, hopefully. And, and his company that he's uh, getting off the ground is Verco, V-E-R-K-O Sounds. So if anybody's looking for some freelance, uh, mm-hmm. you know, audio stuff and, and, and music for, you know, and you're going to just try, you know, different people, uh, reach out to Kenny. Mm-hmm. So shout out to Kenny and Verco Let's Sounds go, Kenny. in uh, New Jersey. And uh, let's see what happens. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I can't wait to hear Must more from Kenny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Um, then my next question um, is from Felicia. Um, she wanted to know, was fair pricing for editing and mixing a podcast? Um, she has a potential client um, that has about an hour-long podcast. Um, any... Feedback would be greatly appreciated. All right. Thank you for asking, Felicia. Um, yeah, we do that a lot here. So. Definitely, yeah. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. so um, for for us, we, we do a $50 an hour, um, but, which is pretty standard um, for a basic edit. And then we so we just add the music. I level out the uh, the audio and um, and and give it to them from there. Vo's anything added in, and that's pretty much it. We don't re- we don't really take out any ums and ahs and that kind of thing because. Well, with the recent podcast we did. Oh well, I mean that's official all, but yet, that's but not that's not a basic edit either. Yeah, no, so, no, no. Yeah. I, but she, I mean, I guess she wants to know all the all the. Uh, a different uh, yeah so yeah pr- and then price you, ranges right? then yeah you get into more than a basic a edit surgical which, editing. which we we do do exactly I mean, um then you you're you're figuring out how long it's taking you to do this if it takes edit. you six hours to edit which it shouldn't yeah uh then you have to bill accordingly um well, I think uh, if you do the math properly, right, you, you charge 50 an hour for just basic editing. Mm-hmm. And surgical editing, you should be able to do it in two hours. Yeah. Then you should charge 100. Yeah, at least. So, okay, three hours. But if it takes you eight hours to edit 60 minutes of audio, then... Yeah. I think, yeah, <laughs> you, you work against your uh, pay. Yeah. At this point, because and, and you can't charge a client eight hours worth of, of no. editing, <laughs> so so you are you no. really have to like um, balance that out. Um, mm-hmm. Find what the, the uh, uh, expectations are. Mm-hmm. Um, or I mean, also we uh, with some of our clients, we have a monthly subscription, right? So they mm-hmm. pay a little bit less, but we know that they pay for a month. Yes. So that's another option. Maybe you know you don't you charge them seventy five an hour, but they guarantee you four hours of audio per month. Yeah, I mean, which is not bad either. Yeah, but again, I mean, you cannot work against your hours and against your pay because this is, I mean, more hours. Uh, I mean, I guess more gigs in less amount of time with this is better, right? Because you you make more money. No, oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, the quicker you can whip out those final edits, edits is, mm-hmm. uh, the better and then once you you know then you also have to charge accordingly once you get into a bunch of uh of revisions <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that, that's another thing to keep in mind is and, yeah free. with this thing you have to keep in mind revisions because revisions are you know <laughs> and the clients you know how they are they can go <laughs> too deep with revisions and but 
they may not. So something to keep in mind before. Um, yeah, and letting them know what you know how much are even your re you know re edits and revisions. So mm -hmm. having that in mind as well. Um, usually we once you if you talk to them ahead of time and knowing what's expected. And that's really about communication with the the client. I think is is very key in <laughs> being you know because um, it's still a personal relationship. Yes, yes, it's a very personal relationship. Um, your clients and you know them respecting what your time and what needs to happen to make them have a great product. So, um, yeah, the revision thing. You really have to go into it yourself too about how much you even want to charge on that. I mean, that could be an additional, t you know, yeah, twenty books and edit, or like you know, you, you know. But I think establish it ahead of time is the biggest deal. Yeah, definitely knowing what you're gonna work with before you start editing, and also we give people one free revision sometimes, not all the time, but for certain things. Yeah. Yeah, um, most of the time we do. Yeah. Um, and that should be it. That should, you know. It, yeah, it's free revision is good enough like to get the final product. Anything deeper is like, yeah, we, we're going to have to reach, we're going to have to charge more and we're going to have to go, yeah, to, to crack this back open again. So. And with a podcast, yeah, you don't really have to do more than one revisions because podcast is just you, you start talking, you it's stop. It's a conversation. It's yeah. a conversation. <laughs> uh, yeah, if there are some edits in between where you know where you had to stop or your phone rang or, you know, yeah, yeah. something else happened, then okay. But you don't need 20 revisions to do that. It's usually one. You cut, splice, glue, and move on with your life. Very true. Yeah. So, yeah, Felicia. That's what we think about editing and and mixing for podcasting prices. So mm -hmm. um, thank you for reaching out. Um, so what else we have on the docket? We are working on our IK Multimedia videotape distortion um, sample. So mm -hmm. you can you can hear that. Actually, it'll, it'll probably you probably listen it. You're listening to it right now anyway mm -hmm. <laughs> on this edited podcast because we love it that much that we're using it on our own thing. So, <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, so looking forward to putting out that video um, because it's also featuring a new track that we're, we're uh, finishing up and that we, we've had our, our good friend. Uh, Jet Galindo master it for us. Oh, Jet it's called did True an, North. True North did, uh, yeah. Jet did an an amazing, incredible job. Yeah, yeah. It sounds huge. Uh, it's a it's a dance tune, a little mm -hmm. different than, <laughs> than a lot of stuff we, you've heard from us before. So, and it, it also features uh, um, um, Ray. Actually, Ray. Yeah, he won the uh, Latin Grammy. Yes, yeah, on drums and. Uh, Christian McBride on bass, uh, so it's super funky. Uh, oh yeah, Key Fender uh, mm -hmm. on the uh, el electric bass. You know, it, mm -hmm. a lot of people don't even know he plays that often. I'm just looking at uh, Epiphany uh, oh, bass yeah. amp, <laughs> which he right recorded it through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it was a different one, was it? I think it was a different. Oh one, yeah, because we replaced one. this one with uh, a newer version. Yeah, yeah, but it still <laughs> sounds dope. Uh, that song will be coming out soon. We're, we're looking to do a video for it. Um, really dope stuff coming up with that. But of course, it also features the tape distortion uh, plug-in on, on yep. the track. So um, re we're really happy about that. And then upcoming uh, this week, we're going live with IK Multimedia uh, Derek. He's interviewing us about our one of one production studio. We were on the couch. Uh, <laughs> right there. Right yep. Behind the camera. Yep. So, you know, we got to show off another side of the studio and just talk about our backgrounds and um, what we're working on next and, you know, how we've used IK Multimedia, which we'll get into the tape distortion. But, I mean, we got all the, the EDM video. 
pack mm-hmm. that we already have out of IK Multimedia. We 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 kind of get into that as well. So looking forward to uh, giving you guys the link to that. That'll be this week. I think on Wednesday or on Monday now. Yeah, we're today's Tuesday actually. I mean, oh jeez. Yeah. Labor Day so was tomorrow, yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, tomorrow um, that <clears throat> that'll be coming out. So we'll, I we'll, think it's called Chasing Impossible. He has like. To we'll put a link in the description. <laughs> yeah. uh, but he had he had uh, great interviews before, like Sam Bad and yeah. Bunch but of other that's people. a personal. That's, that's a not per- the IK Multimedia um, mm. um, show. But he yeah he, he's he's great. He, he has different video series that he's been doing, and mm-hmm. yeah, I think Chasing Impossible featured like Sinbad and some other like really mm-hmm. like. Mm-hmm. Heavy, other heavyweight. <laughs> oh yeah, um, people and what they do, you know, um, Sinbad and, and comedy. Which personally, I've gotten to mix him before. So <laughs> uh, about ten, twelve, about yeah, like twelve years ago when I was in Florida. I mean, the funniest guy I, I've heard just. Next yeah, level. I figured that. Oh my god! When I uh, heard, uh, saw the interview. Yeah, he wow, he's amazing, and he can just riff off of the crowd. He was in the movie with Arnold. Oh yeah, <laughs> that, that Christmas movie. God, oh, I don't god. remember the title. Oh but... man, Jingle All the Way or something. It was. It was like. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah, he but sure I was. mean, he he rocked the crowd. I also saw him when I went to the my first tech awards, um, uh, like five six years ago. So, <laughs> so yeah, um, check that out. We're mm-hmm. gonna be putting out, you know, what we did with Derek and um and you know anything else we got going on. Uh looking forward to you know more work this week. I mean, there's always work. <laughs> oh yeah, there's always work. We all and uh, yeah, check check out our series on uh, One of One Productions Studio. We're on Facebook and IG. Uh, we have a weekly video series too that you can see us doing our work and see our clients and and see what they're doing. And you know, we, it's it's really cool. We just got a lot of great, a lot of different clients doing different things whether from sports to uh doctors to you know to to music just everything so Mm -hmm. um check us out um follow us on 23db productions again we're on facebook and ig and one of one uh to hear just hear and see (laughs) all the latest that we have going on um and please uh keep those questions coming because We'll answer them online, uh, on yeah. here, on the first, podcast. First, and first Q&A. Yeah, yeah. So uh, let's keep this going. All right, everybody. Thank you for listening from Dennis All right. and myself. Let's go. Let's go, guys. <laughs>